Good afternoon my friends. I'm just up here in Argillan Park. It's a big um, house and land. It's a public park and there's fields and there's walkways and there's a big garden in, in up at the house you can go you can visit and um, there's a big play, fantastic playground here for the if you, for families with their children. Um, so yeah I'm just gonna up here for a walk so you're welcome to come along for the walk around our gillen. This is a cool little <coughs> woodland path here that leads down to the playground here and they're after um, tarmacking. It was just a stone pathway through the woods here but they've tarmacked it which makes it easier for people with little kids, little babies, say buggies or disabled people in wheelchairs which is very very good. And the trees here are full of um, grey squirrels. I've seen two of them here uh, the last time I was up and uh, probably because of uh, all the people that walk through here they're kind of I wouldn't say overly friendly but they won't just sc scuttle away you know as soon, soon as they see a human being they they kind of stay close so I've seen two of them here the last time I was here but anyway it's the beautiful beautiful here so that's a, a, a really really good playground for kids uh, there's workmen in there now at the minute power holes and the, the ground of it but uh, yeah that's a really really excellent um, playground if you want to bring your children to have fun in there I just love these high cloud days when the clouds are up real high in the sky big white puffy clouds and I probably can't pick it up on the GoPro here but you can see the Moora Mountains up over there in Northern Ireland and they're real clear today there's a fishing boat just out there and there is two boats ships waiting to go into the port of Drada just up the coastline there That's a grand fallen tree that would make great firewood. I think they're rhodo rhododendrons, right? But if you don't maintain those shrubs, they'll just take over. Oh, this is just lovely, nobody around today, which is just great. Whole park basically to myself. So that's the main railway line here from Belfast to Dublin. That way is the Belfast and that way is the Dublin. Out there is the Irish Sea and over there is the town of um, Skerries. Right, I'll go back in here and keep walking around my walk. See this mad wild um, plant here, or some people might call that a weed, but um, we used to call that the devil's bread. I don't know the right pronunciation of it, but um, that's what we used to call it. There's the hawthorn, look, oh, is that lovely? There's the hawthorn uh, tree or bush, comes out in a lovely white this time of the year. Beautiful. 
there's more of the I call it the devil's bread lovely trees it's, it's just great to see an unspoiled meadow you see there's no fertilizers allowed to be put onto the grassland here because in the park and in the next couple of weeks now or so um, they also have a contract or something local farmers will come in and they'll cut this meadow and they turn it into hay but um, because there's no fertilizer put in it you get to see all the like little wild plants look I some of them I don't I don't know the name of them but look here's little um, see down there look little blue ones there them little purple lads there look and you have the buttercup and here's loads of buttercups see that Now, isn't that just fantastic? I wonder how many people walking around here don't even see, see these things. Look at even those daisies here, look at the daisies. Now, isn't that fantastic? You see, you don't get to see these things if you're driving at the speed limit in your car or you're on a bicycle or whatever you have to get out and walk and open your eyes and look at what's around you and really appreciate it because there is nothing better than nature right so here's another information sign here this one is saying just here was the main gate to I probably can't pick it up on the GoPro, but I'll go up there later. That's our Gillen Castle up there. So that's that was the main the main house, the main building, right? And you had all this land was all part of our Gillen. So it's saying the main the main gate lodge that was once located around this area was taken down when the railway line was installed in 1844. It can be seen on the Ordnance Survey map of 1837 with a clear path running down from the castle towards it. There are no traces of it today, one of four lodges on the estate. This was the main gate to the castle and upon entering the estate, the castle could be viewed dominating the landscape above. A pathway that led directly to the castle no longer exists. So, that's what it was like, my friends, back when the British ruled Ireland. They, the big landlords, uh, carved up all the land all over the country for themselves had huge big estates like this and um, that's what they done my friends that's what they done they were colonizers and they weren't the only colonizers in the world like they were all at it like the the Turkish um, Ottoman Empire you had uh, Africa for instance you had Britain colonizing parts of it you had the French you had the Belgians you had the Germans the Dutch so they all had a hand in going and conquering other parts of the world so I don't blame the British at all that's that's that was that's the way it that's just the way it was you know so um, anyway they've left this big estate there's, there's three from from where I live, if I'm going to Dublin, there's three of these big estates. This one is called Ardgillen. There's one called Newbridge House, and the last one is Malahide Castle. And they're all torn now into public parks, which is fantastic. So for people, you know, just to visit.
So it's saying here, given the family ac access to their private beach, this is the second footbridge on this site. On the 3rd of November 1853, an incident took place that would give the bridge its present name. Lady Louisa Augusta Connolly, Baroness of Langford, drowned here while swimming, despite the best efforts of her handmaid Charlotte Bates, a local workman, and a boat that was launched from Balbriggan. A mother of four children, she was just 32. Japanese knotweed do not cut or saying so I don't know why that is must be of some importance but anyway here's another information sign here saying the Fotrell family occupied the gate lodge that stood here so look there's a picture of the gate lodge that used to be here um, it stood here in the early 20th century and the Harmon family were the last known occupants. An Act of Parliament from 1845 included a clause that determined an officer or servant would reside here to attend the opening and closing of the gates at the crossing of the said railway near such gatehouse at all convenient and reasonable hours. The job came with a £20 annual salary. Wow! Inflation has rocket it up since then 20 pound annual salary holy shit mad stuff mad stuff lovely there's a butterfly flying around there hello butterfly hello hello butterfly wow beautiful tree I'm terrible when it comes to pronouncing the names of trees um, but I'm just thinking this might be the horse chestnut right right uh, look at the lovely flower on it here look isn't it gorgeous isn't that beautiful as I said you won't see things like this if you're driving at 70 miles in your car, will you? No, you will not. Does anybody remember doing this when they were walking home from school? Used to go, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, so seven o'clock, used to do that on the way home from school. This is just great, great. The sun is just, ah, oh, just great. And every so often you hear the noise of the boards, it's just, ah, oh, just heaven, heaven. There's um, more buttercups here, buttercups. Hello buttercups! Now it's not just beautiful my friends, beautiful. So another information sign saying the ice house, right? So the ice house was only discovered in 1985 when council workers inadvertently unearthed a hidden cavern and rescued it from its vegetative grave. Before the invention of refrigeration, ice houses were used to store food. The ice house was introduced to Britain and Ireland around 1660 and ice was imported into the UK from Scandinavia up until the 1950s. Usually only large mansions had paupers built buildings to store ice. Wow. Probably can't see down into that there. Pretty cool, wasn't it? Pretty cool. 
lovely stonework here. So that's the ice house. I love all these little information signs around here. So that's a, a, a birch tree, right? There's another birch tree, a few of them around here, right? But it's saying here that um, silver birch is a fast growing tree species, right? And rarely lives for more than 60 to 90 years. In the past, the silver birch's easy peel, waterproof bark was used to make bags, buckets, bottles, and boots. Birch twigs were bound together to make besoms, which were traditional brooms and were reputed to be flown by witches. In early Celtic mythology, the birch symbolised renewal and purification. Bundles of birch were used to drive out the spirits of the old year. Now that's something I didn't know before, so there you go. See, I, I just love the variety of this walk. You're walking through uh, pathways through woodland. You're 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 out in kind of open meadows. You're back into woodland again. Pathways through woodland, and up here further, I'll be going into fields. Uh, two more big big fields. So that's why I love this this walk here now, Gillen. I'd say out of the three main parks on your way to Dublin. This would probably be one of my top ones. What's the sign over here? Another sign over here about some tree. Um, right, so it's saying that this is an elm tree, right? Uh, I can't pronounce it. W Y C H white, is it? White elm. There are many species of elm in existence, but the white elm is the only one which is native to Ireland. White elms are not named after witches, so maybe it's called witch, is it? It's an old English word for bendy. Its flexible wood was used for making cartwheels and water pipes. The resistance of elm timber to water made it a valuable wood with many uses. The first water pipes were made from elm and its resistance to damp made it a favourite wood for making coffins. Holy shit! This is educational walking around here today. Very educational. Another information sign. Grisellinia littoralis. This grove of Grisellina shrubs were most likely planted in approximately 1850. It is a native shrub to New Zealand and South America. It is usually planted as an evergreen shrub or a hedge. It makes a very good hedge in coastal counties, but can get killed by severe frosts if planted inland. These plants were probably meant to stay the size of a shrub, but time and nature had a different idea. So it is here. Wow. So from New Zealand and South America. Wow. You see, you walk by, you, you'd be walking here and yeah, you, you're taking in all the nature, all the trees and shrubs, right? But you've no comprehension of what they are or where they came from. So that's a great idea to have that, those information signs. I think it's a great, great idea. Well, here's one about the oak tree. Known as the king of the woods, the oak can live for more than 700 years. Much of Ireland was once covered with oak trees, where now we have peat bogs. Beautiful black bog oak can still be uncovered during turf cutting and is much loved by wood carvers and sculptors. During the war, acorns were ground and roasted as a coffee substitute. Oaks provide support, shelter and food to more different living organisms than any other tree. Wow. Well, here's now the horse chestnuts. So the horse chestnuts are not native, native to Ireland. They were brought from Eastern to Western Europe in the early 1600s. Their conkers are inedible except to squirrels and deer. 
It is also said that they used to be fed to horses in Turkey to cure lung disease, so giving the trees their name. Did you know people played conkers long before horse chestnuts grew on these islands? Conker is an old word for a snail shell which was used in the original version of the game. This is just great, all this information. God, isn't the open space just fantastic, isn't it? Like, I mean, look at the size of that field there. Big, huge meadow filled with buttercups, high, white, puffy clouds, sunshine, blue sky, trees blown in the wind. What more could you ask for? Oh, this is just great. This is just absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. It's just lovely there. An old man just sitting there and he's <coughs> chatting away to people walking with their dogs. I think that's really, really nice. Can you hear the birds? Hello little Robin. Hello, are you well? What? Are you well? Are you? Are you well? But you're fairly friendly. You're fairly friendly. Yeah, you're fairly friendly. Wow, you're fairly friendly. You're a fairly friendly little Robin. Yeah. saying that um, the wall garden was originally a Victorian style kitchen garden that was used to supply the fruit, vegetables and cut flower requirements to the house. Victorian wall gardens were essential on a landed estate, allowing the demise to operate in a semi-self-sufficient way. The centre of function of the walls surrounding a wall garden is to shelter the garden from wind and frost, allowing the gardener to grow produce in a microclimate that may otherwise prove difficult. So that was the reason for the wall gardens, right? Okay. Look at all the, the, it's the vegetable garden. Look, um, don't know if that's cabbages and I think that's cabbages in there. That looks like rhubarb, more rhubarb, lettuce plants. Super cool, super cool. Yeah, so this is the, the castle. This is our Gillen Castle. Um, it has a craft shop inside. Uh, and you can get castle tours here. Family of two adults and two children for 15 euros. Adult 
five euros. You can't go in now because of the lockdown restrictions to do with the pandemic, but it'll probably be opening up, I'd say, in the next month or two, I think, I hope so. And I, I did, I never done, done the tour of the castle, but I must come up and do it. It's only uh, five euro for an, for an adult. There's a monkey puzzle tree here. See that there, look. Well, that's it, my friends. That's my little walk and tour of Ardgillen, the mice in North County Dublin. It's just outside the town of Balbriggan. Um, great place to come. Free, free parking, free to enter the park, and. Uh, Look out here, lovely big green space in front of the castle here. Yeah, during the, during the summer you see lots of people out here um, s sitting out here and just... Um, uh, yeah, to be just sitting out here having picnics and playing football. Uh, basically having a nice relaxing time. So check it out my friends, Art Gillen. Um, so take care people see us all in the next video sometime bye